Now, we are starting to install Flink cluster environment. You can be a physical machine, a virtual machine, or a cloud host, but we require at least three server nodes. Okay, before we start installation work, we need to a simple design for the roles and the service distribution of the Flink cluster. Our plan have to uh, three machines with uh, 151, 152, and 153 IPO addresses, of which uh, 151 will run the job manager and the task manager, two roles. And the remaining two servers will uh, run only task manager roles. Okay. By the way, let me show you my OS release version. I use uh, uh, Cinto OS um, a Linux version. And also, you have to install the JDK uh, in advanced. I use the Java and uh, a version command to check and verify that. All right. Um, install the install the um, Flink is a very simple. We just uh, download the Flink archive package and uh, extract it uh, to the specified pass. Let me show you how to do that. All right. First, we need to download the Flink archive package. Here, uh, we will use the latest uh, um, latest version that is uh, one. Point uh, seventeen point two. Okay. Um, in order to save time, I'm already um, download the Echo package in advanced at here. Okay. Now we need to um, decompress the Echo package to the installation directory. I use the time command. Um, destination to OPT or target uh, directory is OPT. All right, wait one moment. Okay, it's pretty cool. We uh, completed the installation work. It's a uh, it's very simple, right? Okay, and uh, change to OPT, and here uh, we we can create the soft link. of the link named Flink, right, okay. And then uh, we, we, can, we needed to do some um, configurations. Conf, and here, use the VR command or VRM command, edit the Flink conf YAML configuration. All right. Change the background color at here. Uh, we should uh, do some uh, specified uh, um, configuration items change. Uh, the first is uh, we, we should change the job manager RPC addresses. Use a rev server, not a uh, local host. Okay. And, uh, and here, um, the job manager unbound host we use the 0 .0 .0 .0 .0 0 point uh, in standby uh, localhost. Okay, cool. Uh, we keep um, the memory process size and do not change it. Okay. And here, this is the target role. Uh, we change the unbound host name to Local uh, to current host name. All right. Um, bond host. Oh, sorry. Bond host. Uh, we should to use uh, 0, 0.0. 0, 0.0. 0. 0.0. Okay. And the task uh, manager host. Okay. Um, the task manager memory process uh, keep keep it not change that. Uh, we can uh, we can change the 
a task manager number of the task slots from one to two. Okay, later I will ex explain what is the uh, task manager uh, slots. And parallelism, we can use the default value. value. Um, a job manager execution failover strategy uh, keep to a uh, range. And uh, REST address, this is uh, a job manager web UI. We can change it to Hadoop. And uh, last one, rest and bound address, 0 0.0.0.0. 0 .0. OK. We finished the, the configuration. Uh, we can do some uh, check work and verify that. Get flink YAML and uh, Grab okay, as you can see, uh, we changed the job manager RPC address to uh, job manager host name and keeps the uh, port not changed and uh, change the um, bound host name to uh, 0, 0, 0, 0.0.0 and keeps the uh, memory uh, process size, uh, change the task manager host. Uh, host uh, a bound host and the host name uh, keeps the memory. Uh, we change the number of the task slots, okay, and uh, keeps the parallelism default and uh, keeps the job manager execution failure strategy of the region. Uh, we change the job manager web UI address is um, Hadoop uh, 151, uh, that is our current uh, server name, and uh, change the rest uh, unbound addresses. Uh, 0, 0. 0.0.0. 0. Okay. Pretty cool. And uh, let's let's change the uh, uh, master fire. Master fire. Uh, okay. Worker fire. We have three work, uh, worker workers. That is a task manager. Two, three. All right. We completed the uh, first server um, setup and uh, uh, Flink installation. In the next lecture, we will distribution. Uh, this installation to remaining two servers and uh, uh, we will change the uh, directory um, uh, and directory group and the owner uh, to Hadoop. Okay.